Hi, welcome to our short videos on Ask the Expert, where we take up questions asked by our viewers and clients pertaining to the cybersecurity industry. Most of these questions that we take up are posted on our YouTube channel that you can see on your screen. Do subscribe to our channel, which is a treasure trove of informative content on various standards, compliance and governance, and various cybersecurity pertaining information. You can see the link on the screen and read the description below to learn more about it. Do subscribe and click on the bell icon so you get notified about our latest video updates. Today, we have taken up another interesting and informative topic for those looking to achieve PCIDSS compliance. The topic for today that we have covered in our video is what is the difference between masking and truncation technique in PCIDSS. Masking and truncation are two popular techniques in the PCIDSS compliance that are often used to meet the requirements of the compliance. The PCI Council in its PCIDSS requirements states that no PAN data should be stored unless they are rendered unreadable. So basically, PCIDSS requirement 3.4 clearly states that merchants must implement certain measures to render cardholder data unreadable. Covering this in brief, we have today explained the two popular techniques of masking and truncation that are often adopted by organizations to render card data unreadable. We will be further explaining the difference between the two techniques in PCIDSS for the better understanding of our viewers. So, let us first understand both the terms masking and truncation individually. Masking is a technique whereby the sensitive data is masked with alternate characters, hash or numbers to maintain the confidentiality of the data when displayed or presented to an individual. It is a technique adopted to ensure the security and privacy of the data. This is one way the data can be rendered unreadable. As per PCIDSS requirement 3.3, vendors must mask PAN when displayed and only the first six and last four digits can be stored or processed or transmitted for the process, technology or applications to be considered it out of scope. We often see this technique used by shops and restaurants where when customers make a card payment, the receipt op offered to them in return has the card number masked with digits replaced with X characters instead of the actual digit. Similar to masking, the technique of truncation is the process of ensuring that the stored card data is rendered unreadable. But in this process, a segment of the card data is removed rather than masked with alternate characters. While it is quite similar to masking in a way that the first six and the last four digits would be displayed, yet the rest of the digits will be permanently removed or rather deleted than just replacing it with numbers, characters or hash. So, this way only a fraction of the PAN gets stored with the vendor, deleting rest of the data permanently. Using this technique, the PAN data is read unreadable and will no longer be considered as a cardholder data if stored in the environment. This is the most common practice adopted by vendors to render the PAN data unreadable and deal with the growing credit card frauds in the industry. Masking and truncation are both techniques that are often mistaken to be the same and quite often interchangeably used. But while masking conceals certain digits when displayed, truncation means removing certain digits when displayed that cannot be retrieved. So in masking technique, the PAN data can be unmasked and the data can be retrieved Whereas, in truncation technique, the PAN data cannot be untruncated without recreating the PAN from another source. 
Further, the technique of masking is addressed in PCI DSS 3.3, whereas truncation is one of the several techniques that can possibly be adopted by organizations to meet the PCI DSS requirement 3.4. So basically, requirement 3.3 relates to protection of PAN data when displayed on screens, paper receipts, printouts, etc while requirement 3.4 is about protection of PAN data when stored, processed, or transmitted in files, database, etc. So, although masking and truncation are completely different techniques for rendering card data unreadable, yet both are seen as industry best practices and often highly recommended for achieving PCI DSS compliance. With this, we end our informative session on PCI DSS difference between masking and truncation technique. Hope this video turns out to be useful to you and clears all your doubts. If you have any other interesting topics that you would like us to take up, then do drop us a mail and we'll be surely taking it up in the next videos. You can even share your valuable feedback with us and help us make videos more useful to you. If you have any queries pertaining to the requirement of PCI DSS compliance and best practices, then do drop us a mail on askus at vistainfosec.com and we'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you.